let's go right. Hey people, welcome back to this video. Uh, today we'll continue on Red Rhino to make it running again. Uh, off camera I did two things. So I also tested these two connectors. So let me show you. So one of these connectors is for the neutral switch and the other one is for the side stand switch. Uh, and if any of those, uh, if the wiring beyond this, uh, these connectors is broken, you also have some issues starting the bike. Uh, that was not the case. Uh, so I talked with my mechanic and most likely cause of this problem is the starter motor. Uh, luckily he has a spare one, so I'm gonna remove it and then uh, we're gonna take it to the, to the mechanic and see if the other one works. So one, I'm on the way to the mechanic. One of the issues that these starter motors uh, have on the, on the uh, 1100, and I think also the 1150 because it's the same starter wrench and if I'm correct, is that over time uh, the magnets, they come loose. They are glued in, in the uh, housing. And at some point, usually they, they came loose, but if that happens, they basically short out the uh, starter engine or the starter, mo starter motor uh, and then doesn't do anything and uh, that's probably also the reason why I destroyed the previous battery <laughs> and it's not the first time that this happen happened to me uh, this is actually the second starter motor uh, wasn't a new one when I replaced it so go figure uh, but yeah let's hope that's the problem Just finished the mechanic. It was indeed the starter motor. Uh, the test was rather quick, so I didn't capture any footage of it. More like next time. Um, but yeah, basically the magnets uh, probably came loose, and it doesn't do anything anymore, even without the engine, uh, without the boxer engine, so the normal engine uh, attached to it. So even when it's just on a workbench, it doesn't it only clicks out, and then it doesn't turn. So so I got a replacement, it's one that has been rebuilt uh, by a local guy and that should be good to go. Uh, I was already doubting whether I would get another one from a uh, salvage yard or whether I, I would buy a new one. So that problem has been solved as well. Now we go home and fit the new one or the rebuilt one and hopefully it works. So see you in a little bit. So this is new, nice and shiny starter. So let's put it back and see if it actually solves the problem. So the, the problem is actually, it's over, over time the, the glue gets a little bit weaker, but the main problem is that once your battery gets a little bit weaker or a more, bit more flat or ages, the problem is then that the, the, currency, the current running through the uh, starter causes it to be hotter. 
and heat and glue doesn't really match that well. So that basically causes the magnets to, uh, to come loose and it basically shorts out the, the starter. This one. It's two. And then this lead has to be 10 Newton meter. So, that should be it. Now let's see if it actually starts. That would be nice. Yep. Works. So if you like this, put a thumbs up. If you want to know anything, post a comment down below and I will see you the next time. Bye.